Hello everyone, this is Suhas, contributor and community moderator of Shadium. In this video, we will be learning about how Shadium is different from other sharded networks. As you know, Shadium is world's first EVM based L1 blockchain, which uses dynamic state sharding to achieve linear scalability. So what's the difference between other sharded networks and Shadium? So there are three major uh, differences compared uh, compared to other sharded networks. One is separate archive nodes for storing transaction data. So as you know, there, there uh, if, when we actually compare a regular node to an archive node of Shadium, what we, uh, difference we actually find is in regular nodes, this particular regular node stores the complete blockchain data and does validate transactions, accepts or declines transactions in the blockchain. Whereas the archive node in the Shadium stores blockchain data but doesn't you know do validations it doesn't accept or decline transactions there there, there are a set of validator nodes that that actually do these transactions but archive nodes are speci uh, specifically you know for storing blockchain data second second is auto scaling as per network load to understand auto scaling let's let's first understand you know how uh, other chains does uh, transactions and how many transactions uh, does the other uh, blockchains does so we, we actually have uh, three this is the theoretical data of ethereum Solan, uh, solana and polygon so ethereum can do you know 13 to 15 transactions per second and solana can do you know 50 to 65000 and polygon can do 65000 Let, let's see some live data so this is the current uh, transactions per second in uh, you know top popular chains like ethereum is currently doing 23 transactions arbitrum in is around four transactions optimism 8 polygon and then you know we have a couple of uh, chains like phantom avax etc so now let's let's see what max recorded transactions per second per chain so let's consider max recorded transactions per second of ethereum so it is 115 115 transactions per second now if we compare the gas fees what we are paying at that particular uh, moment is it's, it's around you know 800 to 1000 uh, dollars per transaction that's that's very much huge and then that's where uh, our auto scaling actually comes uh, you know when there are more transactions occurring it doesn't you know like like any other blockchain you know shadium doesn't actually throw uh, throw these transactions into mempool where that particular transactions have to wait until some other some of the other nodes pick them in shadium what actually happens is when there are there are more transactions occurring what this blockchain will do is add more nodes to it you know increasing transactions per second and then when there is less traffic it, it actually removes uh, some nodes to it and that's that's uh, how effectively and efficiently uh, the shadium works so that's that's the second uh, difference and and the third difference is linear scalability increases transactions per second with addition of new node as we have discussed earlier about auto scaling and how blockchain actually adds nodes to itself when there is high traffic and then when there is less traffic blockchain actually you know removes some nodes from the consensus as well so what what actually happens is uh, when when these nodes are being added to the blockchain consensus when there is high traffic what actually happens is even the transactions per second of of uh, of that blockchain increases and then when uh, when when there is less traffic and the uh, you know nodes are being removed from the consensus the transaction per second also decreases so this this actually helps you know save resources uh, we have what we have in the blockchain and that's how blockchain works efficiently saving all the resources so these these are the three major differences you you actually find between shadium and other sharded networks as well so that's 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 it for the video thank you